you ever wake up in the middle of the night finding yourself looking on the internet if you're on certain sites we don't want to know about it but assuming you wake up in the middle of the night and you're looking on regular sites sometimes you come across something that surprises you so much you've got to like take your glasses off to have a second look because you couldn't believe your eyes the first time and this is what happened to me this is what happened when i found this game but before that welcome to the gentleman's pixel club you can follow us on youtube twitter on tiktok on any of the handles that you can see on the screen at the moment for my pain for your pleasure we are going to be playing a beta game of rick dangerous for those of you that don't know rick dangerous appeared on the amiga many many years ago i think it was also on the atari st but this is effectively an amiga 1200 remake by a group called the z team you can download this for free from itch.io i will put a url on the bottom of the screen so you can go and check this out yourself this isn't a complete game this costs zero of your earth pounds and it's a combination of using the joystick and the keyboard to play. I have played this game years and years and years ago. I remember very, very little about this game. So we're going to go on a little journey together to see what we have. So hitting fire to start. And we've got a choice of new game, credits or quit. It would be rude not to look at the credits. So we're popping into there. And we have a little plane that's flying, original game by Simon Phillips from 1989. Wii version by the Magic Team in 2008. Amiga remake by the Z Team 2022. And those are the gentlemen that programmed it. And I'm not going to try and pronounce both your names because I don't want to butcher it. So I do apologize there. And there's some little greetings that are going on here. And this is created in something called the Scorpion Engine. I do not know what the Scorpion Engine is, but it's clearly important enough to be shown here. And the Scorpion Engine, I can only reflect on the ZX Spectrum scene where you've got the, uh, I think it's the SDG uh, engine where you can create little mini games and, and great platform type games. It may be something similar to this. So more special thanks of the Z team and some of their friends as well. And Rick is flying his little plane with a little British tailpipe. So Rick, like all you other foot people that are British, wants to be British. So we're going to go into a new game here. And it may be a little bit of slow loading because it is loading off the disc. And that's exactly what you get, exactly what you expect. So South America, Rick Dangerous crash lands his plane over the Amazon while searching for lost Gulu tribe. But by a terrible twist of fate, he lands in the middle of a bunch of wild gulus. So he's searching for a tribe, but then he lands in a bunch of wild the wild gulus in that tribe. Well, he's got exactly what he wanted. Can Rick escape these angry Amazon antagonists? Maybe he can. Maybe he can't. So he's looking. He's looking at a map there. Oh, this is a little cutscene running away from them, and he falls down a a, a hole. A, a, a big hole and fortunately he doesn't die because that would be a very very short boring game but while it's loading the first level we can just wait and see what to expect i don't know how to compare this to the original as i say you know i've i've not played the original in a long long time but it's all, all indiana jones style wait that boulder is going to be chasing me didn't expect that but it was looking very pretty till i fell i got killed by uh, those bad guys maybe if i go there nope i went to the right there thinking okay if i pop to the right then the boulder will go past me can i jump it nope that little scream he does we are probably going to be hearing that a lot okay so let's drop down here drop down here and we're going to try and go to the left no no idea oh is it oh may maybe 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 i have to jump up there no so we have a hang on i was going to push the b key because there's a bomb we can do bombs look, look at that bomb and i actually don't know what happened to that boulder okay what are we going to do here okay so this game i have not got very far in at all that was an unexpected game over too early so yeah we're going to do that Lots of hitting the fire button here and reading the map or blowing my nose on a big hanky, falling down the hole. And then we got this boulder problem. 
So I'll wait for the game to load a little bit. Come on, chop, 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 chop. And then we're going to jump. Nope, that's not it. How did I avoid that boulder before? What the hell are we doing here? Okay, I can't seem to outrun it. You know, I don't think dropping a bomb is going to help, even if I hit the wrong keys. And then it... I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the hell did I do to avoid this the first time round? So let's try again. New game. Oh, this cutscene is going to be annoying because we are going to see this cutscene a lot of times. I'm ready with a B key to try and blow up the boulder. Okay, so for whatever reason, somehow I I, I, su I survived that. Oh, let's give it anything here. The, this, how, why, but you know, you want oh, right, pull down to go down. You want to know why you survive things. I oh, look at their faces when they die. Their big faces. You want to know why you survive things. Thank God it didn't take me back to the beginning. And I need to be aware of that uh, shooty shooty thing here. Drop down here. How do I even get that? Okay, so I jumped up to get that, and I've kind of disappeared into the wall okay this is a beta you are gonna expect bugs so if i could you are gonna expect bugs that's for certain but i i did not expect to be trapped into the wall okay if i do a bomb maybe i'll blow myself up that be be for bomb come on yeah, you've seen the bombs disappear on the the top of the screen did it get me no no it didn't get me damn it okay so 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 not a hundred percent sure what's going on here so if we then start again we're gonna load the game in from scratch <coughs> excuse me uh, and then do reset that should reset the Amiga on the Mr. FBJ that we're playing for this and you know it will load it in so a Scorpion engine free edition that is being used for this very confusing on how I actually get through the beginning of that game stuck immediately with the the, the bug on the right hand side of the screen I really really don't think that should have happened Again, created by the Z team, but you know, this isn't a final release, and this costs zero of your Earth pounds. So, you know, you expect problems once in a while. So, new game again, and we're going to have the open animation where we drop through. And this gives me a, a bit of a challenge as to what I do with this video. You know, you're making a video, you want to show gameplay, and I am going to release this video. But I think that I'm going to release this video, you know, not as one of the scheduled ones, depending on what happens on this gameplay. Um, it might just be a bonus one because, you know, I want all of you to trust in what you see on the videos that I do for you. And, you know, you need to get the bugs, the problems and everything else that, you know, may actually be present on it for whatever reasons. So I've fallen and I got caught by that guy again when I landed on him. So I think the best we could do is do the running and try and survive that fall. 
You know, I, there, there is no rhyme or reason to how I survived before. Oh, it's timing. And it got us both. So if I pause, if I pause at the end, oh, right, I've got an idea, so let's run. Damn it. So I can't see the bottom of the screen to get that right, but we need to go and try and replicate, God forbid, that bug, if it's still there. But we, we, we've got to survive long enough to be able to do it. So down, down. Yes. So the rock killed that chap there. Go to the right. And then what we do is shoot you. And then we jump up if we can and then we're going to jump up and to the right okay i don't think it happened so it didn't happen that time i didn't get locked in the wall all right game over now i have an idea on what to do on how to play this so i think that that bug is passable that we had the developers will see this because i will tag them in if they're in twitter on the, the, this this game as well um this is just a beta that we've got to be open and honest about and it is a beta it looks really really pretty but it's going to be brutally hard but let's play a little bit more and see where we can go so waiting again for it to load run 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 to the right and remember this game is free damn it got that timing wrong this gaming this game is free so you know no money will change hands for this and even if you do have a bug a problem or something like that it's not necessarily the the, the, the end of the world because developers fix bug fix bugs everything has bugs and you know the, 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 oh, Jesus, I, I didn't even move out of the way the, the, these people that work on these games here, you know, are not multinational software houses or anything else like that. If you're getting a game off, oh, for fuck's sake, if you're getting a game off itch.io, then, you know, don't expect the world because, you know, you, you're getting great quality. Oh, damn it. You're getting great quality titles there. And, you know, for, for just a few pence, really, for the amount of blood, sweat and developer hours that have gone into this, so we're going to go to the right here and we're going to try and get a little bit further than we've got before. That might be another bug actually. So I can't go left here. I don't know whether I could go left on that screen at all. But developers, if you're watching this, the idol on the right hand side seems to be constantly firing because I'm at a certain level. And I don't think that that is necessarily right because it wasn't doing it all the time before and, and actually for some reason the idol is constantly firing already and oh it stopped now i've gone there i go here i get back up there all right that doesn't seem as right as it could be all right so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna unfortunately and, and this is where the story fails a little bit. You know, you are on a mission to discover these tribe people. Um, you've been chased by a whole lot of wild ones of them. And this isn't the, the current developers here. Yeah, this will be Lexi. You've been chased by a, 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 tribe or a tribe of them. And what you're effectively doing is, hey, hello, friends. I've come to your village. I've crash landed in your village. And you know what? We're going to kill you. You know, all, all those disappointing screams of all those villagers that die and what did i die on i think there were some little triangles on the screen there that killed me triangles are, are not necessarily bad they come in all types of sizes but in this game i need to remember that triangles are not going to be good for good old rick so i want to get past that boulder and try and have as many many lives as possible so he's fallen down the the, the shaft the tunnel of death and we, it's absolutely clear he's not going to get out of this in any shape or form. But we're going to head to the right. Drop down, drop down. Wait a moment, drop and... Oh, the mother's God. Yeah. Was the original game that hard? Was the original game really, really that hard at the beginning? Yeah, that, that, that is just awful. 
So, nothing. Can, is there even anything there? No. All right. Let's head here. And we're going to pay careful note, I think, to the, the shooty spiky thing on the right-hand side of the wall. And look at that. It is not shooting how it was before. Never mind. Because if you remember on the on the last playthrough, it was doing lots of shots when I was over here. All right, so let's go here and we're going to assassinate. We're going to literally murder a villager in cold blood for no reason whatsoever. So I get killed by that. Let's try one more time to collect him. We've got a couple of lives. And it didn't shoot me at all then. Okay, don't understand what's going on there. But let's forget about that. We're going to shoot you because you've done nothing wrong. We're going to come down. We're going to shoot you because you've done nothing wrong. This one here, that never shot at us before, I don't think, when we went down. Okay, avoid that. No, get on the platform. Jump over here. Jump. What the hell killed me there? All right, kill you. I'm trying to do exactly what I've done before. Now, some of you will be feeling, hang on, you know, that's killed you sometimes. But if you're testing games, if, if, if you're doing a, 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 a game test and you're playing it through, you need to see whether you can actually trigger bugs, whether you can trigger things not working. So by me doing exactly the same things that I've done before, although in that case, I couldn't uh, shoot that guy because I'm out of bullets. You know, you get to see what kind of bug You've got, aha, right, it was the little triangles that I landed on there, so we're going to jump and miss those, which I've done. Land on that, drop down to there. Oh, I think it was those triangles that killed me last time. Drop there, and those little spike things on the wall don't look very good. So I think we need to go down the right-hand side passage, and I'd miss that jump and clip all the others. How, how bloody stupid. All right, we're going to go for... A bomb. No, no, we're not going to go for a bomb. We're going to... I had to lean forward to the keyboard there. We're going to go down the ladder and we're going to go for some timed magic to get past all these people who are happily living in their home and Rick is coming to murder. Oh, fuck. I went to do a jump and on the, the old games, it's sort of diagonal jumps that you do up and left, up and right. And the little guy, Rick, Rick, went up the bloody ladder. Okay, this is game over. Let's try again, avoiding some of the things that we've seen already because we have very, very limited uh, bullets here. If I was to be a playtester on this thing, I think I would like a version of this that had a trainer that gave me, you know, unlimited bullets because, you know, I, I, I clearly used them all up. Oh, if I was the coders here, I'd be thinking, hang on a minute, you know, you run out of bullets every every time you go forward. If you have to reset a level, so I'll try and explain what I mean when we get to it. We're starting off here with the boulder, and I've got X amount of dynamite, X amount of bullets. Try and time this to avoid that. Good. And if we've got, say, one, two, three, four, five, six bullets here, when I go into this screen here, I have six bullets. Now, if I go and I murder that chap that's walking on the top of the bridge with one of my bullets, and then I go and shoot the one underneath, and then the one underneath kills me, that would leave me four bullets. I think you should start back up here with, effectively, six bullets so six bullets again, because you're resetting, you go into the top of the screen, the idol is present, and, and that resets. So why are my bullets not resetting? Don't know whether that's a bug, but just worth mentioning. So we're not gonna go for the top thing again. We wanna do a little bit more exploring, because otherwise, you know, this video, all you would see me doing is just dying on the, on the top screen that we've got. Let's kill you. I thought that one was going to move a little bit fast. So drop down. Kill you. Remember there's, there, there, there's the spikes. And I've also just realised that when you fall, you can kind of control it a little bit as you go down. You know, he has sort of perpetual motion, so you can do a little bit of a jump. Now, can I just fall gently off here? Ah, unbelievable. You fall off, and there's one of those guys saying, Hello, Rick, I'm waiting at the bottom. Gonna shoot you. 
jump you. Go down on you. No, let's rephrase that. Go down the ladder. Jump you. Go down you. Land on the fucking triangles. Alright. Bang, you're dead. Bang, you're dead. We will jump over you. Jump over you, drop down on you, jump across you. And this is all a timing thing. We don't know where that one that's walking below is. So all I can do is just fall off and hope. So on five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Jump across there, into this area, and I thought for a minute they were going to jump the gap. I thought, oh, you've got to be kidding me. But this could be good because we might be able to cross them all and go up here. Oh, there's one of those shooty things on the right hand side that didn't shoot me. Thank God. All right. So are you going to fall off the platform? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, not you bastard. But look at that. There, that, that looks like there's weapons and good things here. And I sort of moved off that platform a little bit quickly and thought, oh, is there a spike down there before it was too late? And look, I've got bullets back. I've got hats back as well. So let's gently fall down there. You know, I don't trust anything in this bloody game. I really, really don't. And what the blazes killed me there? Shoot you, because I've got my bullets. Am I going to get thousands of bullets now? No, I'm not. All right, so I don't want to fall too high. I know it doesn't make sense, but let's just go it, do it this way. And we're just going to walk. So a whole load of spikes came out and got me. And I think those spikes on the wall where I'm jumping on the right hand side will come out if you're not careful. But why did they come out? Where did they come out from? What on earth killed me on that other level? I don't know if that blue thing is good or bad. Oh, no, that wasn't. Ah. Oh. Jesus. All right. So they, they, they come out of walls. They come out of God knows what. Okay. So let's jump up again. Get some more ammo. Fall down there. Fall down there. Oh, nothing's killed me yet. Are you, are you all feeling sorry for yourselves? Fortunately, that bat flew away. I don't know. I, I, I guess we just move quickly and, and hope that we can navigate past the, this this nightmare. A run, Rick, run. Okay. Did that do a double scream there just to annoy me? Shoot you. Jump. Jump. All off here. We're going to be all right. Yeah, what could go wrong? This is dangerous. Nothing in this game kills us. Know that the bat is there. Ignore that. Shoot the bat. Let it fly away. You know what? We're just going to step off this platform. Oh, at least we didn't land on them. Oh, we did land on them. Okay. Game over. So, this is a really pretty game to look at. It's a new game. It's a remake. It's going to send me absolutely potty. But you know what? I can't wait until we get the final version of this. What I am going to do, I am going to release this as a proper video because we've got far enough in this to show you a bit of the game without spoiling too much, but without making me snap this in half. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to encode this, have this ready. Um, this will likely come out on, where are we now? We're on Monday now. So this will likely come out on Thursday, but I will have it as unlisted, so I will be able to send a copy of the video, or at least a link to the video, to the um, to the developers of this, um, so they can at least see what's there. Anyway, I'm the gentleman. This is the Gentleman's Pixel Club. This was a brilliant remake of Rick Dangerous. Yes, there are bugs. I get there are bugs, but I need to be true to myself true to you my viewers and show you what i see on the journey i haven't been asked to test this but it's out in the public domain you're allowed to test things you're allowed to play things you're allowed to review things and you know if they can iron out 
the bugs that are in this game, then we are absolutely in for a treat. But the video is not over because we are going to quickly have a look at the original Rick Dangerous to see whether the first level is just as much of a nightmare. So this is the original Rick Dangerous from Core, released by Firebird, and I wanted to load it up just to have a quick look at the first level to see whether it was as insanely hard as the trouble that I had the first time round. So we're hitting fire to start, and we have a similar opening screen to what we've seen already. Fire to bypass that, and look at that, yep, okay, this doesn't look half as pretty as what we've seen before, but the same trouble is clearly there. So, oh, no, got caught, and I get caught again. So let's try it one more time. We're gonna drop off. We're gonna drop off again. Wait a sec, drop off and get away from that native. And yes, we did it. Okay, so part of me is a little bit pleased that the same problems exist, the same problems are there. You know, yeah, we got it, we got, we've got exactly the same uh, level layout here. And I got caught by that bad guy there. All right, we're not going to play this game because we weren't looking to play this version of Rick Dangerous. In fact, we're just going to check the shooter. Let's check the shooter. No, and I got caught in his head. In fact, the collision detection actually seems um not so good. He shouldn't have got me on that platform. Yeah, and that got me. Okay, so that confirms the opening level was a nightmare on the original one. And actually, if you look at the collision detection on here, where you see the, 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 the slightly dark outline of the hair of the gentleman on the platform below, obviously clipped me there, and it goes over the edges of the platform that you can see where he goes left and right. I would say that the newer version is going to be far more playable because the collision detection apart from what i didn't understand how i got killed sometimes it was a little bit confusing the collision detection was so much better anyway this really now is the end of the video i'm the gentleman this is the gentleman's pixel club you stay safe and you stay dangerous and i will see you on the next video goodbye would you like to play again hello there it's me again if you're a subscriber to this channel thank you very much if you're not a subscriber to this channel, then Zeus here would love you to subscribe. It makes him happy and it makes me happy. And if Zeus is happy, everybody is happy. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.